Barcelona. Welcome to the travel vlog. I'm at my hotel. Before I tell you how my trip went, I'm gonna give you a tour of my room because it's actually so insane and just so beautiful that I have to show you. Also, I just wanna say this hotel is really expensive and it's not something I would usually do. Definitely not trying to brag. And I wanna thank you guys actually, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit, but I wanna thank you because without you, I would probably never be in a hotel like this. This is the first time I'm like staying at a really bougie hotel and it's weird. <laughs> giving rich black energy <laughs> so first off when you walk in we have a nice little mirror i already got changed because i was literally sweating and what's that i was basically sweating all day because it's been so hot so i was excited to change change into this outfit both are from revolve i'm gonna show you guys the little haul in one of these vlogs and if i don't have time to film it here i'll film it when i get home we have a nice little Full body mirror. I'm staying at the W Hotel. Look at the view, bitch. What the fuck? So here I have a little sink, a big sink. It's not little. This is where I'm going to be doing my makeup and stuff and getting ready. I actually need to wash my face in a bit and reapply my sunscreen because I've been out with this face since like 5 a.m. Over here I have a shower. A nice big shower. This door is kind of hard to open and close. The toilet. I didn't take a shit yet. Don't worry. Ooh. we have some big closets over here i already unpacked all my shit and i brought way more clothes than i obviously have to wear but i'm planning on shooting some content speaking of i think i'm gonna take pictures in this outfit when i go out and then besides that today i'm not gonna do any of it because i've literally been waiting for so long but i'll talk about that in a bit <laughs> getting ahead of myself um there's some drawers i just laid out my sunglasses and stuff have a nice desk which i am going to use for working a nice king size bed with this random person um it kind of looks like this one celebrity but it's a guy i don't know anyways oh there's a skirt over here that i tried on and my bonnet <laughs> um this is my favorite part the fucking view is insane like i'm gonna wake up to this which is just such a dream so I'm so happy to be here. So I'm going to sit down. Let me check in the mini bar if there's anything I can grab. Because I'm on the ship alone, I actually want to shoot, like, film or vlog more because I have shit to say and I'm not going to be with anyone for the next few days. And I actually want this to maybe also be a way for us to get closer again because past year, I feel like I started closing off because the internet was very overwhelming for me and I feel like I'm getting back to myself again. So I'm actually excited to take you guys along to this on this trip and like share some more about me and my personal life. And also if you're a newer subscriber, you will get to know me better. I'm gonna check if there's anything here I can grab because I've only had breakfast. I think I'm gonna find a cute spot to take pictures and then I'm gonna go to the beach and find a place to eat. And I don't care if it's like a McDonald's, like anything will do. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I think I'm gonna get a Red Bull. It's not even cold. It's not turned on. You know what? I'm not gonna drink the Red Bull because I'm not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> let's sit down and talk. It's already 5 p.m. But I'm gonna tell you what happened because it's been a long ass day. Should I sit out here in the sun? This is such a cute spot. I, should, I could take pictures here actually. Basically, well, I woke up super early, right? Everything went well when I got to the airport in Amsterdam. The wait wasn't too long. It was all fine and dandy. I even finished editing a vlog at the airport, which I cannot forget to schedule. So everything went well. Then I got here to Barcelona and at the airport. I was waiting for my luggage. Luckily, I have an air tag so I can track where my luggage is. But I literally waited an hour and a half for my luggage to even appear on the thing. And finally, when I got my luggage, I was looking for my Uber and I couldn't find him. And I was walking around and it was so fucking hot. And I was wearing this like, it's not just couture, but it's like a velour like sweatsuit thing. Because I was wearing it to travel and it was I was sweating so bad. And I finally got to the hotel. On my booking, it said um, check-ins starting at like 3 or from 3 or whatever. And like usually at hotels, you check in around 3 p.m. That's like the time. And I expect my room to be ready. So I got here, my room wasn't ready. I was like, okay, sure, I'll wait for a little bit. I ended up waiting like an hour and a half, another hour and a half waiting on my room. Then I finally got here and I was able to unpack. So I'm here now, but I'm here like literally two hours later than I expected. So that's kind of a bummer, um, but it's okay. I'm not gonna let it ruin my trip. You know, it's not a big deal, but it was kind of annoying. And like, I'm usually not too fussy about like a room not being ready, but at this hotel, bitch, 
Every hour I'm waiting is money, bitch. Like, I don't even know how much this is uh, a night, but it's too fucking much, okay? <laughs> There's a um, rooftop terrace as well, which I want to actually stay at for most of the day tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys because I feel like I don't really talk about this ever, but I'm actually really, really grateful, obviously, for you guys um, for giving me this job because I wouldn't be able to do all of this without you. And yeah, like me sitting here, like I just feel really, really grateful. And the fact that I can do this, like I never thought ever that I would be in a position to be able to do this. And obviously I'm here for a reason, you know, my birthday's tomorrow. I'm turning 23 at midnight and I don't really care, but I care in a sense of like, it's a new age, like a new year for me. I'm gonna do a lot of manifesting and stuff tomorrow. I'll take you through that. I think it's gonna be a separate vlog. I'm hoping I get enough footage today. If not, I'll have to combine. I just want to focus on me and I wanna celebrate myself and I just wanna focus on like a new chapter again. Like every time I age, I try to see it as a new chapter. And yeah, that that's why I'm here. And I just didn't really feel like celebrating it with anyone or like having like a party like i don't have enough friends to like do a party or like go out and i don't really care about presents like when i was younger i only wanted to celebrate my birthday because i would get presents because <laughs> i didn't have shit now i have everything and so like i'm not like i don't want anything from anyone so yeah it's a different different way to do it um i've traveled by myself before for like work and stuff but i've never actually traveled somewhere with the intention of being there by myself for a few days um, but I'm not anxious at all. I think because I've traveled quite a bit by myself now I'm actually really comfortable doing that and I think I'll be fine. Like I'm really not gonna Do anything too crazy. Don't expect me to go out make friends socialize or any of that That's not me. You're gonna have to go to someone else for that because I'm not gonna be doing that I'm just gonna be doing me and I hope this might be a fun or inspiring vlog for anyone else that is maybe antisocial or just introverted and doesn't really like the idea of you know doing something alone or or having to go out and socialize and to like have fun i hope i can get some content shot because i you know i always feel really inspired when i'm traveling and there's so many beautiful spots here that i have to take advantage of that it might be a bit awkward but usually when i'm not in my own country i don't care as much because it's like who the fuck are you anyways i'm never gonna see you again <laughs> Yay, we're here. So I want to have dinner at their restaurant tomorrow night for like my birthday dinner. I didn't tell them my birthday is tomorrow. When I was checking in, obviously she could tell because she saw my passport. And I was thinking about being like, hey, like, so I'm like, I want to have dinner here tomorrow and it's my birthday, but I'm alone. Can you like do something? But I actually don't want to do that because I feel like it's just going to make me feel awkward. I just want to be like <laughs> eating my food and <laughs> that's it. It'll be different. I've never had dinner at a restaurant by myself. Let me go freshen up. Let's play some music to hype myself up. I'm going to play my morning playlist, even though it's not morning anymore. <laughs> I have anything else. tell you guys something embarrassing well first off i was gonna go find something to eat at the beach and then i realized how busy it was and it kind of gave me anxiety because the guys were like cat calling and i was kind of like oh um, maybe not and then i decided to sit at the rooftop here and it was nice but then again there was like this group of like american black men like big they were really tall and like big and they were very loud like i could tell like okay these are american by the way they were acting and they kept like trying to talk to me and then when i was just leaving they were like calling for me to like come to them and i was like i just act like i didn't hear them leave me alone <laughs> but the thing was first off i was a bit too late to like order so they didn't i okay this is how it went right i was sitting there and i saw people were getting some drinks and i was like okay i need to order something now i have social anxiety you guys 
usually when I'm with someone, I'll make them order or like ask, you know, be like, hey, can I order? Cause I'm like, I don't know. I just get anxious. And then by the time that I was asking, it was already too late. So I was like, am I still going to order? And they're like, no, if you go downstairs, you can still order. And I was like, never mind. I still haven't eaten, <laughs> which is so bad. But I'm just going to order some room service um, once I get the courage to make the call. So let's have a look at the menu. I don't know. <laughs> so like, I've never been this sweaty. Like every part of my body was sweating. Like my skin was just wet. I don't know. Oh my God, that's everything. You order with the QR code. Oh my God. <gasps> That's like an introvert and socially anxious person's dream for real. Being able to order through a QR code. Oh my God, bitch. Is it just drinks? Okay, fuck. I'm gonna order food. Oh, grilled beef with grilled asparagus and green pepper sauce per getting that, fuck it. Okay, I'm spending the rest of my night here. Let me order in the meantime. So obviously this trip for me is also a little break from weed, which I really needed. It's so hard because part of me is like, I'm going to quit. Like, it's just, you know, bringing me down. It makes me less productive. It makes me lazy sometimes. And sometimes I just get a bit too caught up in it. Um, but then I'm also like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> it's just so good. And like, as I'm here, I'm like, I wish I had a big ass fucking joint right now. But also it's like the addiction talking because I'm very much addicted. Okay, I'm going to get the grilled is that gonna be good it's probably gonna be like this small it's gonna be skinny and then i want something to drink i need like a good do they have fanta, fanta. <laughs> glass of milk that's gross anyone that can just drink milk like that i don't trust <laughs> should i just get a red bull five five forty five for a red bull you guys <laughs> Fuck. Is this what like rich people do with like are these like normal numbers for them because it's not to me bitch Almost six bucks for a red bull. Are you sick? <laughs> oh my gosh, should I get it? I'm gonna get it just because I want it But what the fuck I definitely need to go. That's what I was gonna do Also, my eyes are I don't know why my eyes are watering right now. I'm not crying. I promise I need to go find a grocery store It's just because I feel kind of uncomfortable. I was walking around like this and I was getting cat calls and I was like I'm gonna go back <laughs> How do I pay? Damn, delivery fee, five bucks, four, four, <laughs> four fifty five to deliver it to my room, to take the elevator up to my room. Is it, it's still processing. Can I, can I fucking get it or what? Oh no, I did it twice. Oh no. Oh no, what do I say? Shit, I did it twice. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh my God. Do I have to call them now? No, I still have to call them. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Mm. Hi, sorry. I just accidentally ordered room service twice. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. That wasn't too bad. I did it! High five! <laughs> Besties, I'm going to go edit some content and schedule my vlog. And I'll see you guys once my food gets here. My Red Bull is cold. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Let's say they gave me some bread vibes. <laughs> Ooh, you cannot see that, but it looks like a fucking bomb, bitch. What the fuck? It smells good. I'm, my mouth is like watering. <laughs> Look at the food. I'll film a little aesthetic shot with my phone. Ooh, nice. The little scenery. Wow, bitch. <laughs> That's fucking good. Some asparagus is gonna make my piss stink. Mmm. <laughs> it's even better because I haven't eaten all fucking day. We'll do better tomorrow. I'm actually gonna go and call my mom. Oh my god, there's like a rainbow in the sky. There's like a rainbow in the sky. Oh my god, I've never seen one. <laughs> it's like not even a rainbow. It's almost like just a reflection. 
I think I've had a long ass day and I'd rather just chill for the rest of the night here. Also, I'm paying fucking bank for this room, so I might as well just be here as well. <laughs> like, this room was the most expensive part of the trip, so girl, I'll just be here for tonight. It's all good. Let's see how mom's doing. Ooh. took a nice shower so i'm all clean and oh the video is done uploading yay i'm going to quickly check if it's all good to go schedule it okay miss blue i always have to watch my videos in like times two speed when i watch them back because i literally cannot sit there and watch myself for 18 minutes like when i edit this i go through the footage just so much that i literally it's like too much okay okay Okay, I actually wasn't meant to work at all on this trip, but I feel like it's inevitable and I'm having fun with it, so I don't mind. It's like, what time is it? Almost 11. I just spent like an hour, I think, just getting a bit of work done and also just organizing some of my video files because if I don't do that in between vlogging, it's just going to become such a mess and I'm not going to want to edit it at all. So I'm trying to make things easier for myself when I get back home, but... I'm going to end off this vlog here because I feel like I have enough footage for like one video and then I'm going to continue tomorrow. I said I was going to go shopping tomorrow, but I think I'm actually going to go on Saturday. That way I can spend tomorrow just chilling. I really want to focus on writing out my manifestations. It's something I've been wanting to do for months and I feel like I keep putting it off. Like I'll have like an idea of what I want to write down because I, I'm already kind of manifesting in my head all the time. But I actually really want to just maybe write a letter or like a journal entry to myself. Kind of manifesting how I want to see myself in like a year. Whenever I set goals and I'm just like, I guess, actively manifesting, it always really motivates me. And especially because I'm trying to just get rid of some bad habits and changing up some things in my life. I think it'll be nice to just write it down. I'm not going to share the actual entry, but... In the next vlog, I will kind of take you guys through that. But since tomorrow's my birthday, I was like, why would I go out and be like super busy when I came here to relax? So <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you did. Obviously, this was the first day and I haven't just like really done much. But I do really kind of enjoy this again. Like I said earlier today, the past year, I feel like I was slowly kind of closing off uh, from YouTube and the internet and not sharing too many personal things anymore. But I feel a lot better about it now. And I think I'm also just realizing how much it helps others when I just share real life shit and not pretend like I'm someone I'm not. Like the stupid, I just watched back some footage, like the stupid phone call was not a big deal. But in my head, I was like, oh my God, I have to make a phone call now. But I know a lot of you guys will understand that feeling and yeah i just want to take you guys back into my life again and show you what i'm up to and it makes me feel less alone when i'm traveling like this because i'm i feel like i still have people to talk to and i've been trying to just communicate more with you guys also through like dms and that i post on like the youtube community thing and you guys just make me feel like i'm not alone and i have like a shit ton of friends which is so cool so yeah thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video stay tuned for part two of the travel vlog